Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm uh, going to show you uh, what rig I'm using uh, targeting cod uh, on the River Mersey. Right, I'm gonna show you quick show you what I what I've got here. What I've got um four oh coiker wide mouth and a four oh um bait holders two swivels, two bees and a bait clip. Um, I've got this uh, ledger clip but um, I don't recommend uh, these anyone using uh, from the shore. These are good for uh, off the boats. I've been using these last uh, last season but uh, they tend to snap here as you cast. First uh, we're gonna tie up the tie the rig body. This is what I'm using at the moment, but uh, I've, I have ordered uh, some asphalt line as well, uh, which I haven't uh, opened yet. But this is all this will do. Just a fifty pound uh, shock leader mono. Um, this is a rig body. Rig body once it's tied up is about two foot. Uh, about 60 centimeters after all tied up first rig body you drop all of your rig body about uh, 70 centimeters long and then uh, get your swivel uh, you can use it any not so it, it's a uh, sees your style but um i i use a uni knot and what they're called anyway so this is a quite thick line 50 pound line so I tend to do two three Four turns, you should do me. Quick sliver, and then that's a nice uh, handy tool. And pull it tight. Enough. So that's it. This part will go to your main line, this swivel, and then grab all the other beads. Left click. Another bead. And then uh, your other uh, swivel. Four turns you should do it. That's it. Get your not um, pulling to all this, whatever it's called. Pull it tight. Tight enough. So the rig body is ready now. And that's where the rest going to go. Now it's time to tie up the hook length. Um, what we've got is about 
maybe about 60 centimeters here but uh, once we tied this up it'll go down to like a 50 centimeter long about foot and a half so grab your rig body silver bowl over there just Tie it up here. Same again. All you do is just create a uh, loop. Not sure if you can see it there. Two. Three. Same again, four turns. If I can get it in, yeah. That's it. Next. Nice a panel hook goes in first and there's your main hook on the bottom. Same knot. So you have to, uh, guys, uh, you have to bear it with me. I'm not, I'm not very good at uh, tutorials on the rig wise, rig tutorials. Multiple button, pull that tight. So this the uh, photo, Koike wide mouth. Uh, Really nice hooks, my favourite hooks at the moment. Uh, razor sharp, really sharp, and uh, the panel, these are razor sharp as well. As you can see here, they've got barbs in the back, but I'm using this as a panel, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to crush them barbs so it doesn't uh, damage the line. So just get a pliers or something to crush these down straight. So once you wrap the panel hook round the round the hook length like this, so it doesn't damage the line. So that's. That's gone now. Right, we're done, guys. That's it. I'll quick show you. That's the rig. Rig body. That's where the lead goes. So the idea is with this uh, with this rig. Uh, the bait sits on the bottom nicely. And uh, where, where I fish anyway, it's really snuggy, so I don't want anything uh, longer than four and a half trays, four and trays. Um, anything over that, you just end up getting into the snacks. And uh, I'll come across uh, losing the hooks all the time otherwise. So I tend to keep it about four and a half long, nothing longer than that. So, so four and a half hook, hook length about two foot long rig body that's where the leg goes that's it guys uh, this is the rig yeah hope uh, hope you find this useful guys and uh, if you if you did then uh, please give us a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already 
Uh, any questions, just put it down, uh, down below on the comment section. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.